Seven days of yes. How is everyone doing today? Happy May. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Um, so go out, have a burrito, have some tacos, have some chips and salsa. If you're Arrested Development fans, you've already celebrated Cuatro de Mayo last night. Welcome. So it is, uh, it's the middle of the day. That's why the sun's a little bit overhead. I uh, just got back from St. Louis. Had another wonderful weekend with the uh, the Educare uh, group there. Uh, really uh, uh, inspiring weekend. So hello to all the Educare peeps out there. Uh, also, really excited that on Friday I got to record my first ever Entheos Optimal Living Academy um, online course. And uh, so that'll be made available here uh, hopefully soon, maybe in the next week or so when that link is up and live. Uh, I would love to share that with you. Uh, the 30-minute uh, the course was called No Script Needed, Improv Your Life. So using the, uh, the principles of improvisation and how those relate to your life on a day-to-day -day basis. So, uh, again, to the Entheos people, awesome. Thank you so much. Had a great time and look forward to scheduling uh, a few more here pretty, pretty soon, pretty quickly. So, uh, how did last week's activity go, right? Just wait. Just wait. I actually have talked to a few people, and it sounds like uh, you caught yourself a few times, and instead of just going to our phone or distracting ourselves, we really just stayed in the moment. You know, I caught myself doing it all week. Obviously, there were times where I still kind of gave into the temptation and checked my phone. <clears throat> but other times I really consciously caught myself saying just just pause, just be in the moment, just wait and be present, listen, see what's showing up. Uh, I was able to do that in the airport, uh, on the plane, um, uh, uh, in traffic, in lines at different times and it just really brings a real sense of awareness and presence and uh, a great opportunity to check in on your thoughts and see how you're doing. And so uh, the video for today at the bottom, scroll down to that, uh, that was shared from a friend at work and it, uh, it plays perfectly off of last week's activity of just staying in the moment, putting the phone away, and just uh, being present. This week's activity, are you ready for it? I'm not sure you are. All right, it might, uh, it might be tough for some of you. You know, I, I call it the ego log or the shit list. Excuse my language, but the ego log or the shit list, it's basically the same thing. They're both logs. Yeah. So what you're going to do is at the end of the day, I'm all about gratitude, right? I try to live gratitude, um, gratitude journals, gratitude lists. Gratitude to me is it's that thing that brings us back to our center. It brings us back on purpose. So it's a great tool for that. What I thought I had a boat behind me there. What I encourage you to do today, though, and this week is at the end of the day, I want you to make a list of all the things that you had just a negative emotional reaction to, right? Uh, someone you got upset with, you notice yourself getting frustrated. I want you to capture it. See if you can capture how many times during the day it happened to you. It's not going to feel good and you might miss some things, but it's your ego. It's when did your ego run amok? When did it create stories? When did it get frustrated? When did it get mad? That's why it's the shit list, right? Because ugh. So you're going to make that list. And the idea here isn't to beat ourselves up, it's actually to be aware. It's to be aware of our thoughts, to be aware of the script, of how our ego, that monkey mind, can run amok. And instead of just letting it run amok without uh, uh, being aware of it, we're going to bring some awareness to it. So we're going to do that activity all week, make that list, and you're going to start to see some stuff show up continually. And, uh, and you're going to be like, wow, that showed up again, and why does that keep showing up? And now you've got an opportunity with awareness to challenge some of these stories, challenge some of these beliefs, and, um, and, and, and hopefully take some, some positive directions uh, uh, towards uh, possibly even changing that belief or, or moving into forgiveness of yourself or others. So that's why it's the shit list. Uh, it might not feel good while you're doing it, but it is powerful. So that is your seven days of yes activity for the week. Have a wonderful week, everyone.